Welcome to TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. This is part one of a two-part series focused on mating. In this part, I'll cover getting parts into an assembly and getting things positioned quickly. In part two, I'll share some of the most powerful mates in SOLIDWORKS along with some ways to automate the entire process. When adding parts to an assembly, there's a wide range of techniques. The drag and drop method is one of my favorites. It can be done from Windows Explorer, whether files are inside or outside of PDM. From within SOLIDWORKS, you can use the task pane to drag and drop parts into an assembly. Task pane is a tool to the right hand side of the screen. You can use the file explorer or the design library. From within the file explorer, you can browse to any directory that's inside or outside of PDM. And the design library is especially useful for things like purchase components. Another technique is to open the part tile the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, and then drag from the Feature Manager design tree. A quick tip is that if your part has multiple configurations, you can drag the configuration needed without even activating it. Similarly, you can open an assembly that contains the part and drag from the Feature Manager tree of the existing assembly. These techniques will place a new part into your assembly without positioning it. But what if you're placing the first part and you want the origin to be lined up with the origin of the assembly? That's easy, just drag the part into the feature manager tree of the destination assembly. Now let's take this idea a step further. Not only can you drag parts into an assembly, but you can also get them mated at the same time. Simply drag a face of the part into the destination assembly and watch how it finds faces to mate as you drag around. If you've got an edge between two faces that will be mated, even better, just drag the edge and both mates will be created at once. So those are just some of the many ways to get parts into an assembly. If you've already got the parts in the assembly and you just need another instance, simply hold down the control key and drag from the feature manager or the geometry in the graphics area, release the mouse and then control, and you've got another instance. Now let's get those parts mated. One fast technique is to hold the Alt key and drag a face or an edge into position. Another technique is to control select the mating faces and then release the control key. When you do, a toolbar appears with all the available mate types for the selected combination. Just click the one you need and edit any settings or values if needed. The last trick was added in SOLIDWORKS 2016. The component preview window makes selections of parts and subassemblies easier by providing an independent window that can be rotated and zoomed separately from the main assembly. I hope these tricks help speed up your workflow. Stay tuned for part two covering some of the best mates and ways to further automate the entire process. Thanks for watching TPM's 3 Minute Thursday.